Welcome to YouTube Science Communication. Hi guys, I'm Hao Xu Wang. This is the first video I've made for this class. In today's video, I'm going to answer Nico Timbergen's for question to explain why there is a car race and how it works. So let's begin. Nico Timbergen's for question refers to why something is the way it is. To answer that, we have to answer four questions, include function, mechanism, development, and evolution. Function refer to aim or goal of something. In another word, what is it for? Mechanism refers to how something is working and possible explanation behind that. Development refers to per growing process something has been through. In another word, how it grow. Evolution refers to how something is changed or evolved. As a teenager who prefer cool stuff, I like car racing since I was a kid. I still remember there's a Japanese comic called Initial D, which tells the AEA6 legendary racing story. It's fantastic, you can watch those. And um, maybe I don't have such a talent to be a professional car racer, but watching car race and sometimes do it legally and safely by my own is my little hobby. To feel speeding up and have faster heartbeat, you are enjoying those exciting moments and suddenly leave all the pressure and trouble from your life behind for a second. Driving car is pretty cool stuff, right? After the very slow and lonely race with myself, Let's try to answer Timbergen's four questions about car race. Firstly, function of car race. Car race was aimed at proving new machines for practical mode of transport in the past. Nowadays, car race is considered as one of the X sports, uh, which can test both limit of the racer's driving ability and extreme of auto's performance. Secondly, mechanism of car race. A race car must have high requirement about aerodynamics, suspension, tires, brakes, and engine. A driver who experienced years of training and have licenses supposed to control the race car to keep speeding up as fast as they could and use time duration to judge who is the fastest winner. Thirdly, development of car race. Car race as the sport is first record as early as 1867. It used to only test the machine's performance before. However, after many people illegally race cars for fun or money, the whole society soon found out this is a problem. The solution is provided by automakers that they take car race as an important way to compete in makers to demonstrate their machine and set up a visual mass match with price for racers together. By the 1930s, specialist racing cars had, had developed more and more people begin to enjoy watch car race as a sport instead of just a machine test. Finally, evolution. After very rapid development of car race, automakers soon realize simple regular mode of car cannot satisfy both racers and audience. Regular mode car race soon evolved. As now we can see, there are more categories of race include open wheel racing, tour car racing, sports car racing, production car racing, one make racing, time attack series, and even stock car racing, and more. Both cars and rules of distinctive car racing are totally different from each other now. Till now, after answer to four questions, I can say car race is a very valuable and highly developed and evolved sport with long history. It has adaptive value for both individual and society. For individual, car racers who break the record, like Michelle Schumach, can also be the least in the history and honored by the old mankind. For society, exciting car race match of audience unforgettable experience to share exciting moments with others, which is pretty enjoyable for all of us. Thanks for watching. This video is part of a class called YouTube Science Communication, where we learn about history of life on Earth and make educational videos about it. If you want to see more videos like this one, you can hit the subscribe button. And if you want to make videos like this alongside us, 
You can hit, you can know how on our Patreon page. It's in the description. See you next time.